Hey, Dr. Mindy here, and I wanted to start a conversation here on YouTube about your microbiome and the power of taking incredible care of your microbiome. So um, I'm, I've been blessed this morning to be out into this gorgeous poppy field here in Tuscany, Italy. And uh, it has me thinking about the power of plants. It has me thinking of things that I can do to improve my own microbiome. And you know, here on YouTube, I don't feel like I talk with you guys enough about this. And part of why I call it the ketobiotic uh, nutrition plan is because I wanna make sure that you're focused on the microbiome and you're focused on the biotic part. In the keto world, where really what ends up happening is we get so focused on lowering carbs, moderating protein, and increasing good fat, and we lose sight of our microbiome. And our microbiome gives us so many gifts. Our microbiome gives us, uh, produces neurotransmitters like GABA uh, that calms the brain, melatonin that helps us sleep, dopamine and serotonin that make us happy. So when you're really intentional about taking exceptional care of these bacteria, you can actually change your happiness level. You can change your immune system. You can sleep better. So, but in this day and age, what's happening is that we're eating food that's animals that have been fed antibiotics. So when we eat those, those animals, it's destroying the microbiome in our gut. We're putting hand sanitizers constantly on our hand, destroying the microbiome of our skin. Where if you live in the city, you're breathing in smoke all the time, or uh, smog often, and you're destroying the microbiome in the nasal area. So I wanted to give you some of my favorite tips for improving the, your microbiome, improving the good bacteria so that your brain can function right and that your immune system can be balanced and be working right um, and that your overall happiness goes up. So here are my three favorite ways. One, get out into nature. So when you're out in nature, especially if you take your shoes off and you're walking in your bare feet on the ground, you're pulling up good bacteria from the ground. There's actually something called forest bathing where you can actually take, go and walk around the bottom of trees and there is a chemical that's released from trees that at the base of it that improves your immune system. So you can go, go look up uh, forest bathing. But we like to, like in my house, what we like to do um, is just go out into the backyard in the morning and take our shoes off and get on the grass and get the microbiome um, from the grass. You, in a place like this, we want to get out into nature. We want to breathe in the, what, the, the beautiful bacteria that's coming off of these plants. We want to get our feet and hands into the soil. Many of you that garden know the power of, of the earth on your microbiome. So don't forget about nature because nature offers so many gifts when it comes to the microbiome. Um, second thing, now, nature also offers us incredible prebiotic uh, fibers. So I just did a wonderful interview with Dr. Terry Walls that will be coming out on a woman's summit in September. And she, uh, her, her claim to fame is she reversed MS by changing her diet. And one of the things that she really is, is passionate about is that we all get over 200 different types of plants into our diet. So think about that. If you stop and you look at where are you getting, you know, how many plants are you getting? You might be getting, you know, romaine, lettuce, and tomatoes over and over again. But can you do mixed greens and mint and, and pea shoots? And how, how can you get uh, broccoli and cauliflower and spices? How many different varieties of plants can you get to feed the good bacteria in your gut? So get out into nature, uh, eat more plants, and then I, there's, I'm gonna give you the, my third favorite one and then I'm gonna give you one bonus one. So my third favorite one and has been a real game changer for me has been really thinking about the microbiome of my mouth. So I switched over to a prebiotic toothpaste um, and the one I like is Revitin. I'll put it, it's the only prebiotic toothpaste that has been tested. So I'll put the link here in, my, uh, in the notes but I switched completely over to that. So now I'm, pay, I, I, I'm away from the chemical toothpaste. I'm away from the activated charcoal toothpaste. Um, I don't do mouthwashes because I wanna focus on growing the good bacteria in my mouth. When you grow the good bacteria in your mouth, what happens is now as you chew, those bacteria are actually breaking down your food. 
And when they're, they go, when your food has been broken down in your mouth, then they'll go into your stomach and they'll actually be pre-digested before it hits your stomach. So go watch my video that I did on slow, slow keto and the power of chewing, because that really can have an impact on those of you that have candida and SIBO uh, and some of the digestive uh, issues like that. So those are my top three favorite. Now I'm gonna throw in my bonus one, and you guys hear this all the time from me here on uh, YouTube, and that's fasting. So great study came out of MIT recently that even as little as a 24 hour fast will improve your intestinal stem cells. So intestinal stem cells are repair cells. They'll go in and they'll repair your digestive system. So think about this, if we put this all together, you get outside into nature regularly. You're eating, you're really focused on trying to get over 200 different types of fat, uh, um, plants so that you can feed your good bacteria. And you're, you're changing your toothpaste, so now you have good bacteria in your mouth and you're fasting on a regular basis. Boom, you've got yourself a really good solution to your microbiome. So. With that, I, I, let's start the conversation. Let me know if that helps. If you have a favorite tip, put it in the comments here. But it's just so worth saying because we don't talk about this enough. And I, we definitely don't talk about it enough here on YouTube. Um, and I wanna make sure that you have this key information because once you, once you pay real close attention to your microbiome, you'll start to see that your brain works better, you sleep better, you stop catching colds. It's truly miraculous. As always, I hope that helps. Hey, Dr. Mindy here, and if you enjoyed this video, please share it out to the world. I'm trying to get really cutting edge health information into people's hands. And if you wanna see more videos like this, just subscribe to my channel and you'll get updates as to when I go live and new videos that I put out there. Every Thursday, by the way, I do a live video from here and answer your questions. So if there are questions you want me to answer, join me then and I'll make sure that I address them. Thanks, have an awesome day.